Hello everyone, I'm back. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and I hope you all had a good day today, because I definitely did. Today, I did something that I've wanted to do for months now. I have finally unlocked Damascus. And I'm sure I already showed the video of me unlocking it on screen. And sadly, I wasn't at my normal setup, so I didn't record audio, but my reaction kind of sounded something like this. Um, it was like a mix between a yell and a sigh of relief, kind of like, ah, something like that. And then I kind of just slumped down in my chair. Ooh, okay. Uh, that was such a graceful yell that my recording software froze for a bit. <laughs> okay, uh, well, let, let me just show you Damascus, because, I mean, I have it. We'll just go into a quick TDM. Uh, and hope Excel Mill, just the usual, the classic. Turn on realism, like usual. Th th this is good. Um, th this was definitely a grind, for sure. Uh, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> definitely. Whoo, it took me, like, when did I start this? April? That's when I got my first gold gun? The AK-37? So it's taken me, well... It's December now, so it's taken me around eight months, maybe even nine. Ooh, that, that's been a long time. See, but you see, I'm not a competitive person. I, I'm a very casual person, unless it's Smash. <laughs> so, you have me, a pleb, going for a mastery camo, which only the best are supposed to get, so whatever. Uh, well, as I'm showing off all my favorite weapons in this Damascus camo, I'm kind of going to talk about the challenge itself, and I'm going to talk about Modern Warfare as a whole, because now Black Ops Cold War is out, a lot of people are going there, but some people might be hesitant on buying it, so I just want to say the pros and cons of this game. Also, first of all, I'm now on my setup, and holy Damascus looks good. Uh... <laughs> I mean, like, it's not the best, like, BO3 Dark Matters, of course, better. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, okay, I like this. Uh, to me, it kind of looks like a Jolly Rancher, like like a giant gun made out of Jolly Ranchers. Uh, you know, very weird. Okay, here's what the Car 98 looks like. I don't like that the scope isn't covered, but okay. So, let me just quickly go over Damascus. There's 100 challenges for each weapon, and then like 10 categories. They're all pretty easy to do. I'll just go over the hard ones. Uh, first of all, the hardest thing in this game is definitely the launchers. Since, you know, you have to look at the sky, kill some kill streaks. Uh, with the lock-ons, that's easy. But with the Strela and the RPG, very, very difficult. Strela, you have to lead your shot and shoot it and just hope you make it. Um, you can get the timing down on that, though. And then the RPG, that's really slow. You have to lead your shot by so much. And even then, you have the blocky iron sights. It really sucks. Also, yeah, I have the cleaver. It's quite nice with the mask. I like how the entire blade has that, like, blue and red. It really just looks like a giant, big, thin slice of Jolly Rancher. I mean, that's all I can think of. <laughs> so, yeah, the launchers are pretty stupid. Uh, you also have to get kills with the Joker, and that's really dumb. <laughs> but other than the launchers, really, I didn't have a problem with anything. Uh, the guns were pretty simple, they were just time consuming. Snipers are probably my most fun. Uh, the melees, some people call them difficult, but I like meleeing in this game, and all you had to do was go to shipment and just, you know, whoosh, 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 just like slash people. It was, it was actually very fun. I like knifing in this game, so I, I was completely okay with that. Uh, for the mounted and long shot kills, those are probably the hardest ones. Um, all you really need to do is you just need to wait till shoot the ship is there, or just shoot us 24-7 or something like that. And then you can just mount on that little piece of cover. It, it's that easy, and I did that for every single gun, and it, it was just very simple like that. And for everything else, I kind of just did my normal rushing play style, just going around corners and just sliding everywhere and shooting, and I just gradually got everything. So yeah, the, the only hard parts are the launchers and the mounted long shots. Um, that's it. And then you get it. It's just very time consuming and it takes you eight months, <laughs> apparently. I'll, I'll check my stats after I show you all these guns. Oh yeah, the deagle looks nice too. Um, yeah, that, that's a very nice weapon. It's a very nice camo. It's not as good as Dark Matter for sure, but I, I think it's just funny. 
that, you know, you work your ass off for more than, like, five days of in-game time just to get a frickin' Jolly Rancher on your guy. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna talk about Modern Warfare now, just as a whole. Oh um, man, review the game, because, you know, I've played it for like eight months now, and you've seen me struggle through Damascus. So, the campaign, you haven't seen it from me, I think it's really good. It's not as good as the old Black Ops campaigns, or Cold Wars campaign, or um, the old Modern Warfare trilogy, but, I mean, it is really good. It's probably like a uh, top ten. It's not bad. Like, it's not Advanced Warfare or BO3, um, and at least this game has a campaign, unlike BO4. But, oh yeah, your guns also, or your, sorry, your bullets also turn Damascus. That's nice. Yeah, the camp pretty solid, uh, 9 out of 10. And then the Spec Ops sucks. Uh, I haven't played it because on day one it was trash. It didn't really work well. The enemies were way too difficult. There, There's no fun to it. Like, in the old Spec Ops, you had these missions, right? And a lot of them were really fun like basically the trials in modern warfare are kind of like the trials in those old or not the trials the spec ops in those old games but i i give spec ops like a two out of ten <laughs> because like it's cool that you use the warzone map and i appreciate them trying something different but that different thing didn't work I, but i'm sure some people liked it and at least you could couldn't you use it to level up your weapons i can't remember Maybe. Eh. Yeah, 2 out of 10. And then the multiplayer. This is like the hardest part for me because the animation, the sound design, all of that, the visuals, they are all perfect. I, if, if I was just judging it on this alone, and the gunplay is really good, if I were just to judge it on that alone, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But the thing is, gameplay is a big part of multiplayer. And this was a problem. Mounting everywhere, um, all these corners, like, you know, this here, let's see if I can find another one, like this over here, this spot, uh, there was camping everywhere, and that was a big issue, especially at launch. Uh, claymores were busted, the balance was terrible, M4 and MP5 rained almost the entire year, 725 was pretty busted, Claymores were, were busted, C4 was busted, the, um, Ghost is really overpowered. It's just not a very balanced game. But the thing is, the gunplay and all that, and this animation, really just drives the point home. There's a reason I've been playing this for eight months. If I didn't like playing this game, I would have quit the Damascus grind. But I didn't. Because the gunplay is really solid. It, the hit registration is also really good. I never felt bullcrapped out of my kill. I always felt like I got the kill, and my enemy got the kill on me. I never felt like I did in BO4 where I shot someone once, and I just kept shooting them because I shot first, and then I died. That that would never happen in this game. But then there's, um, I, I guess I'll drop it to like an 8 out of 10 if that's the case, just because of the whole camping problem. And now that Cold War's out, all the campers and sweats went over there, so Modern Warfare's gameplay has actually become really fun now. Like, people are moving around, they're using non-meta weapons, it's actually great. Um, and the, the whole meta thing wasn't really a problem for me either. Uh, for one, I was playing hardcore a bunch, and two, your time to kill is pretty fast in this game, so the meta weapons weren't actually that overpowered compared to the regular weapons, which is nice. And that's a good change, since BO4. And Black Ops Cold War, that has a meta problem. Uh, the maps are really interesting, though, because... You have slightly bigger maps, slightly more complex maps. Some people don't like that, some people like the three-lane design. But BO4, like, yeah, the overall layout was decent, but all the maps felt the same. They used the three-lane formula, which isn't bad, in my eyes. It's not a bad thing that really helps flow and such, but they didn't really get that creative with it in that game. Here, a lot of the maps abandon the three-lane formula. This isn't one of them. And some of those work, like, um, but some of them didn't. Like St. Petrograd, that map sucks. Piccadilly, suck my pick, I guess. A dilly. <laughs> um, Hovex Sawmill, I really like this map. It's somewhat three lane and it has some fun little things like you can go up here into this little pipe and then you're over here and then 
when you're on this side, you can also jump over to here to get over here. It's nice. Uh, I like that there's so many spots that you can climb around in this game. It's a very cool little thing to find a new path and be like, ooh, that's great, and I can now go over here and shoot people. It's quite a nice thing. And I like that you can climb on everything. Since I've played Black Ops Cold War a little bit, I don't actually own the game. I've just been playing on someone else's copy. Uh, you can get on everything in this game. Uh, th this isn't a good map to show it off, but you can literally climb on everything. There's no restrictions. In Cold War, you can climb on some things, but other things like maybe this, you wouldn't be able to climb onto. And that, I don't like. Like, I like the design, kind of, but it's just very restrictive, and it makes the multiple lines of sights in those maps even more frustrating. Uh, these maps, though... Honestly, um, yeah, there are the bad apples, but there's always bad apples, and the good maps are pretty good, and I do like the fact that there's multiple flanking routes. It really makes Search and Destroy really fun. I think I'll give the maps themselves a 5 out of 10. There are no Black Ops 2, for sure, and there are no Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 maps, but I do like that they did something different, and for most modes and the gunplay of this game, that works phenomenally and yeah some maps are really bad and uh, the safe spaces can lead to camping and luckily that's mostly dissolved now that everyone's moved to Cold War. So overall I have to give this game uh, really let, let's just go for complete center 5 out of 10 because the campaign was great spec ops sucks it puts it in the middle and then the multiplayer is good it's not great it's not Black Ops 2, it's not Modern Warfare 2, it's not BO3, it's just it's good. The, the maps are decent enough, the gunplay is phenomenal, the visuals are phenomenal, um, and if you're okay with the file size, well I would say, you did, you could get this game. I, I'm, I wouldn't like totally recommend it, especially if you're gonna go for this grind. It's kind of a tedious thing, and it takes forever, but... Oh, wow, the time limit reach. I've been talking for that long? Um... <laughs> geez. So, overall, I wouldn't recommend this game over the older CODs, because those are better, for sure, but you do get a ton of content in this game, and the gameplay is pretty good. Yeah, th that's all I'll say. 5 out of 10 is my final score for this game. Eh, you know, how about 6 out of 10? I feel like the Spec Ops has really lowered the score a bunch. I've had a bunch of fun with this game, especially with friends. If you're going to play this game, you have to play it with friends. That That's how COD works. You, you really do. That That's just that, that's just a must. You, you can get some really funny encounters. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. That's the video. I have nothing to say. And even though I've spent three months getting these launchers done, and you clearly can't make a video out of that, it's too boring, um, I still have not come up with an outro. I love you guys. Have a safe week. Um, I'll see you in the next video or the next stream. I'm signing off. Still don't know how to do an outro. Dang it. <laughs>